New Wave Comedy Show. Hell yeah, I just turned 35. I've been doing stand-up for 17 years. I think my wave is crashing. Yeah, honestly. Yeah, my career is blowing up like a Lebanese pager. So, not too good. Hey, relax. I'm allowed to make that joke. Both of my parents were Lebanese pagers. So, it's actually very close to home. Um, yeah, that, that story. God. I think when we heard that story, everybody thought the same thing. Pagers? Who the fuck is using pagers? I mean, I feel like at that point, you're kind of asking for it. You know, like... Okay, I'll give you more to get mad at later. Um, <laughs> I know, like I said, I just turned 35. Monday was my birthday, 35. Thank you, I know, I think I look good. I look like I'm 25, and I dress like I'm 15. Yeah, the, uh, I think the trick to looking young, it's, it's a pretty easy trick to look young. Uh, you just gotta sleep 14 hours a day. And, you know, it's not that hard. You just have to be unemployed. So, pretty chill life. Yeah, yeah. I think I'm doing good for 35, but there's signs that I might not be. Like, for example, my grandmother still gives me birthday money. I know. And I wanna be like, Grandma, I'm 35 now. You don't have to give me any money for my birthday. But I really need that money, so I'm not ruining that. It's a good gig going on. Yeah, I'm just trying to survive between the holidays, you know? I'm like, all right, Q3 is my birthday. So Q4, we got Christmas. We just got to coast till then. <laughs> but enough about how cool I am. Um, so I had Taco Bell the other day. I still don't really feel OK. Yeah, I had, uh, I had a quesarita, a quesalupa, and a quesadiarrhea. And I'm still trying to feel better. By the way, doesn't Dua Lipa sound like a Taco Bell item? I hear that name. I'm like, yeah, let me get a double dual leap on a Baja blast. That sounds nice. And uh, I don't know if you guys saw this campaign a couple years ago for Taco Bell. They went on TV and they said, recently people have been questioning the integrity of our beef here at Taco Bell. So for one week only, crunch wraps are 79 cents. And uh, that's an interesting marketing strategy to be like, really? It's shitty? We'll make it cheap. You'll eat it, fucker. Like, <laughs> Can you imagine any other business doing some shit like that? Like if McDonald's was like, yes, it turned out that one of our McNuggets was a baby's foot. But for one week only, it's nickel nuggets. Go nuts, fatties. <laughs> okay. Anybody else overcompensate for their unhealthy eating? Anybody else? Where you're like, okay, like, you know, I'm like smoking crack now, but I'm gonna do push-ups and eat carrots later. So that should balance it out pretty good. I was uh, getting dinner at a gas station the other night, and I, I got a Mountain Dew Kickstart. I will never do that again in my life. Mountain Dew Kickstart. One of the ingredients on the back of the Mountain Dew Kickstart was hexametaphosphate. And in parentheses next to it, it said, to protect the flavor. Yeah, fuck the flavor, protect me. You know, like, if you need brackets to justify an ingredient in a soda, you probably don't need it in there. They're like, oh, what, when you put poison with poison, it tasted bad, let's add more poison. That'll protect the flavor. Yeah, the, it's so hard to be healthy these days because the front of the package will say like, made with real fruit, in mind. <laughs> They're like, we thought about fruit when we made this. We owe you nothing. It'll be called 100% juice. Turn it around, contains no juice. It's a brand name. And they love to be like, sugar free, sugar free. And you go, oh, so what do you, would you put in instead? Poison. <laughs> yeah, sugar makes you fat, Splenda gives you cancer. They're like, well, at least you'll die hot. Like, that's the, you, know, you don't want to be fat, right? Just get cancer and die that way. Yeah, it's pretty tough to eat. Healthy, but so if you go the other way and try to be healthy, then it just like feels excessive, most of the food. Like, I like to drink those juice drinks where it'll be like, this naked juice has 20 strawberries and five apples and six pineapples and 30 kiwis. And it's like, if you ate all that fruit at one time, people would be like, are you okay? Like, what's up with the farmer's market you have? And you know, sometimes you go places, it'll be like, this beef is grass fed. I go, what kind of grass? 
I want to go, what kind of water did you use on the grass? What was the cow's dreams? I want to know where it was going in life. Yeah, if you go to a nice restaurant, get like an expensive steak, they usually have like a story for it. The more you pay for a meal, the more they feel like they have to tell you to justify the price, you know? Oh, the cow was raised in the Italian mountains facing the Caspian Ocean. I had a, I had a $60 steak. They brought out a picture of the cow's mom. They said, this is, it's, oh, very good. Yeah. You buy like organic eggs, it'll be like, each one of these chickens has three acres to themselves. I feel kind of like a sugar daddy buying these eggs. You know what I mean? I'm like, yeah, that lifestyle's because of me. Don't forget. I'll pay $15 for eggs, but you get to run around all day. <laughs> you know. So uh, we have that thing happening in a month that will turn all of life into a room like this forever, probably. Uh, I'm talking about the election. Exciting, and it happens here. Who knows who's going to be our new boss? But um, yeah, they, they uh, you know they keep popping off at Donnie. They keep they keep shooting at DJT. Yeah, Don John. Um, yeah, the first time he got shot, I wanted to watch his first speech at the RNC because I'm like, you know, if anybody would ever mellow out, you know, like an old guy getting shot in the head, that might chill him out, right? But he came out and he talked about his assassination the same way he talks about everything else. He was literally like, you've never seen a bullet closer to a head. It was the closest a bullet has ever been. <laughs> and then the second guy pointed a gun at him on his golf course. Trump is just like Tupac now. And, and you know he's just getting cocky too. He's like, miss me, miss me, now you gotta kiss me. People don't kiss anymore when they miss. People used to kiss when they missed. The shooter should have to kiss me. That would be nice. <laughs> mm. Like, can you imagine if they tried to assassinate Biden? If somebody was like, we should shoot Biden, they'd be like, just give it a couple weeks. <laughs> but, like, gust of wind might knock him down. <laughs> and uh, this is a little inside baseball, but did anybody watch the, the director of Secret Service have to do her congressional hearing? Yeah, Catherine Cheadle. Oh my God, even porn isn't that degrading. Like, literally one at a time, they just lined up on this lady like, say you're a dirty whore, say you're a slut, you're a little bitch, aren't you? And she's like, oops, the roof was sloped. But, but yeah, the debate was, uh, the debate with the presidents was fun, that was cool. Kamala, a lot of, a lot of like, I've never seen a presidential candidate's palms more. That's kind of what I noticed with her. Like maybe because she was a cop, you know, she's used to that hands up thing. So a lot of, a lot of this, she has that like somebody farted in her face kind of look. And then Trump, nobody looks or sounds like Donald Trump on a, like Trump has the posture of a child telling his parents what happened at school that day. <laughs> the boy at school pushed me. I didn't like it. <laughs> he ate my dog. I, yeah, so strange. You know, do, do we have to have a president? Like, can, is it in the rule book? Like, we let Air Bud play basketball. Can we just figure out a loophole so we don't? Like, can we just like go through a hoe phase as a country? Like, maybe we have a new president every week. Like, can we just, maybe we see a bunch of presidents at once. That'd be kind of cool, right? I think, you know, I think we need a president who just everybody would enjoy no matter what. Like, I think we need, like, a porn star president, you know, who's trading, like, sexual favors for political favors. You know, can you imagine, like, like come on, Putin, if you pull out of Ukraine, you don't have to pull out of me, huh? I know, I'm sure a couple years in, she'd be looking a little rough just shaking a cup on Pennsylvania Avenue, like, I'll suck your dick for freedom, anything. Okay, I've officially lost all of you. That's okay. You guys are great at letting me know when it's not funny anymore. Um, Trump, he, the last thing, there was, a, there was a rumor for a while that there was an N-word tape for Donald Trump. Did, did you hear that one? And Tom Arnold, for some reason, was going to find it. But um, the, the idea, like, would that even do anything to him at this point? Like, he's been through so much, even if, 
a tape of Donald Trump saying the N-word came out, he would just go on TV like, sure, I said the N-word, but I'm not the first president to say it. Jefferson, Washington, Obama, I'm not the first. <laughs> but I said it the best. Cool. All right, good night, thank you, appreciate you.